Hello, I'm Timothy Baird, Managing Editor of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here today with Dr. Joseph Alpert, our Editor-in-Chief, to talk about an article in this month's issue of the journal. We'd like to talk about digital rectal examination in relation to patients who have exhibited gastrointestinal bleeding. Dr. Alpert, can you elaborate? Yes, Timothy, this is a really interesting article. Um, it comes from my own institution, from the University of Arizona, where they reviewed a large number of patients who came to the emergency room who'd had GI bleeding. That is, there was either vomiting blood or there was blood in the stool. And a number of these patients in the emergency room got the traditional physical exam, rectal examination, with a finger placed to, to, and, and the stool brought out and examined for blood. And then uh, a number didn't get that examination. When they went back and looked at the results, it turned out a lot of important information came from that rectal examination that allowed for fewer procedures, less cost, and less chance to be admitted to the hospital. So yet again, we see the importance of a simple process as part of the physical examination. Thanks for that information, Dr. Alpert. Now, can you give us a little idea of the take-home message for healthcare providers on this subject? Yes, uh, well, the message for healthcare providers is, of course, that the physical exam is still important and that simple things like the rectal exam, which has been done for many, many centuries, gives information that's useful even in our modern high-tech world. Uh, so again, I'm reinforcing the point for people, please don't stop doing physical exams on patients, and particularly where there's a history of GI bleeding, the rectal exam is important. I hope people are still following us on our website and our blog, our Twitter account and our Facebook account. Uh, please stay in touch.